Well, the holiday season appears to be approaching us quickly again. Are you thinking of learning something for that inevitable request to play something Christmassy? If so, then stay tuned for a few options. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. Hi, this is Tommy with Tommy's Piano Corner, the place for returning pianists, or indeed anybody who loves piano, to share tips and ideas of how to get the best from this great hobby. If it's your first trip, then please do consider subscribing. Simply hit the little icon in the bottom right hand corner of your screen now, and it's all done for you. Perhaps this is just an impression, but it feels like Christmas music, especially in the shops, seems to start creeping in as early as October some years and by the time it gets to the actual day itself I'm sure many people will have had enough of most Christmas music I know certainly I have in general. However that said as pianists our family and friends are almost always going to ask us to play something festive for them. So what options do we have? Naturally, we can always learn a couple of Christmas standards if we like. You know, something like the Christmas song or indeed anything off a Michael Bublé or a Bing Crosby Christmas album would fit the bill. If you saw my recent video on how to transition to popular music the easy way, then that's pretty much all you need to know to be able to do this quickly and easily. Otherwise, you can always find some already written out arrangements to learn. For example, that lovely arrangement of Silent Night that I recorded on Christmas Day last year. Of course, for those who've got an audience that's likely also to be composed of children, then I guess Christmas carols are a good option, because the kids will always love to sing along to them. However, if, like me, you don't really want to devote too much of your practice time to learning things like this, and you want to be able to concentrate on, shall we say, proper music, then we have to dig a little deeper to find stuff to learn. There doesn't appear to be masses and masses of classical piano music written for Christmas, but there are some options. If you wanted a very obvious Christmas connection, then something like Liszt's Christmas Tree Suite is a good place to start. This particular suite is one of those few things that Liszt wrote that doesn't require a great virtuoso technique to be able to play. He dedicated this suite of 12 pieces to his granddaughter and in fact gave the first performance of the suite at her hotel in 1881. Not each of the 12 pieces has got an immediately recognisable Christmas theme, well not to me at least, though I suspect that people from different countries might recognise different parts of this. For me, the two very recognisable Christmas songs in this suite are number three, which is The Shepherds at the Manger, which is sort of based on Good Christian Men Rejoice. And then number four, The March of the Kings, which is based on O Come, All Ye Faithful. If you're not so worried about something that has that immediate Christmas song connection, then you might want to think about some Tchaikovsky, because he gives us a few options. The first option to think about might be his December. Now this comes from a set of 12 pieces entitled The Seasons, Opus 37b, and as you might guess, there's one for each month of the year, and December is number 12. So given December's Christmas, then that certainly fits the bill, and arguably January, so number one, might also do. 
I checked the Henley difficulty classification for December and Henley rates it as a five. So that's sort of medium and still very accessible to many pianists, I guess. However, if you think that might be a little bit of a stretch for you at the moment, what about the Nutcracker Suite? I'm not exactly sure why, but now this is very, very linked to Christmas. Many people associate it with the Christmas season. And of course, the advantage is that because it was originally composed for orchestra, then solo piano comes as arrangements. And there are pretty much arrangements to suit everybody's ability range. A good starting point is perhaps the Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy, which is very well known. I remember that Melanie Spanswick did a sort of beginner stroke intermediate arrangement of this back in Pianist Magazine issue 101. And of course, if you Google around a bit, I'm sure you'll find an arrangement that suits pretty much any ability level, of course. Of course, another great source of ideas for Christmas music to play are things like Pianist Magazine, or indeed any of the many piano related blogs that you find. And at this time of year, there are always suggestions of things to learn for Christmas, as you might imagine. If you take, for example, last year's edition of Pianist Magazine, then they had a whole raft of Christmas stuff that was in there that you could learn. As you can see, a great choice of options really and again this year they've not failed to delight with yet more possibilities of Christmas songs in the current December issue. As for myself I think this year I'm gonna have a go at the Shepherds at the Manger so good Christian men rejoice from the list Christmas tree suite. What do you think you're gonna try? Let me know in the comments. If you're not already, then please do subscribe to Tommy's Piano Corner. Don't forget to click the little bell icon so you're notified of new videos as and when they're released. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week.